Hi friends, this is Sunil Bhatnagar again present before you with a video on how to calculate the break draft and the total draft if the gearing diagram is known to us. Friends, there are two ways by which we can calculate the draft. One is knowing the gearing diagram from motor to front loader. And then how the movement is from front loader to back loader. So you will require more number of gears in that. But here my problem is that I have to calculate the total draft of the ring frame and the brake draft if the drafting gear is known to me. So sometimes whenever this problem comes to a student, so he can move in two ways. One, the longer path that is from motor to the front roller drive and then front roller to back roller or he can only see the drafting arrangement which is at the top. Now, as we are all aware that uh, the drafting system in a ring frame it has remarkable improvement since 70s. Now in older times the dead weight systems were used in the drafting no appearance was used and the maximum draft it can be 10 to 12 then PK211 SKF and WST drafting systems comes where the drafting 3 by 3 with long and short appearance was there and the type of weighting arrangement the spring loaded and the flat spring they were used in one of the arrangement, coil spring was used for weighting the arrangement, while in other it is a leaf spring. And whenever you want to increase or decrease the pressure, you have to adjust each point and with time the spring it becomes obsolete, it becomes loose. Then this spring loaded drafting arrangement is replaced by the pneumatic drafting arrangement, magnetic drafting arrangement, but nowadays the spring, this pneumatic drafting is popular. Now as in the drafting arrangement, there are a number of rollers from back roller to front roller that is from feed end to delivery end and each roller surface speed is increasing increasing from the preceding that is the middle roller is moving at a higher surface speed than back roller and the front roller is moving at a higher surface speed of middle roller now this we will study on the board now these are the three rollers front middle and back now here we have assumed that all the diameter here are equal it is a three by three drafting arrangement where in the middle roller the Cradle arrangement, the long and short appearance are running. The diameters of these three are equal. Normally, as we have available, uh, it is known to you that for 27 mm is used for the cotton, while 30 mm is used for the back roller. Uh, sorry, for synthetics. And these rollers, they are having flutes. The object of this flute is that the proper gripping of the fiber, the drafting takes place better. So, now 
in this case, how we will move in order to calculate the plane graph? It is the surface speed of middle rover divided by surface speed of back rover. Now, before going for the further explanation, now please see the drafting arrangement. Now, this is the back rover. The A wheel is there on the shaft, same shaft. A drives the B. From B, on the same shaft, C and E wheels are there. From C, the motion is given to the D, which is called BDCP, ray draft change pinion. And if we want, if we change this, then the brake draft can be changed. Now, from E, the motion is given to the F with the help of carrier wheels. Then GH combination is there. These are the drafting wheels with the combination of that. You can change the uh, drafting, that is the total draft. And from H, the wheel I is there, which drives the wheel J. And from here, it is controlled. Now, if I want to know, if I get the brake graph, so only this diagram is sufficient. Where A, B, C, D wheels are there, and back roller and middle roller diameter is there, and the front. Now, in this case, what is brake graph? Break down the surface speed of middle roll divided by surface speed of back roll. So, here what we will do? If we know the surface speed of one roller, so what we will do? We assume that the back roller surface speed, the back roller RPM is 1. Now, as the diameter of the back roller, middle roll, and front roller is same, so here is 1. So, 1 into A divided by B, C divided by D, and in this case, the brain graph will be AC divided by BD. Now, here, if I increase the wheel of B, this chain place, then the brain graph is reduced. Now friends, one thing is there, how you can find out that this is the change place. Now what you will do, in the machine, wherever the change place is there, there is a cut, so that the wheel can be moved forward or backward. For example, if the bigger wheel is there, then you can adjust with the help of this. The wheel movement is this. But when you tighten the wheel, then the wheel will remain at its position. So, A upon B, the speed of the, the, this middle roll will become, if I want to calculate the middle roll speed, then the basic principle is N1 T1 is equal to N2 T2. Where N1 is the RPM, where which we have taken already the 1. So, T1, T1 is A. So, A upon B, C upon D, then this will be the front roller speed. Now, as the brake draft is there, surface speed of middle roller divided by surface speed of back roller. So, as I have already assumed that all the three rollers are having equal diameter, say 1 inch or 27 mm. So, in that case, our formula will become this. So, surface speed of middle roller is this divided by 1. So, in that case, our equation becomes this. Now, if I want to calculate the total graph, so total graph is surface speed of front roller divided by surface speed of back roller. So, again, I assume that my back roller is 1 RPM is running at a 1. So, here A upon B, 
multiplied by E upon S, G upon H, and I into J. So this will be the surface speed of front puller. Speed pata lag gayi, pi d n, n hume pata hai, d hume pata hai, pi ki value hume pata hai. So jo pi d tha, aur yahan pe jo tha, pi d, wo kut gaya aapas mein. Sinaf jo bachega, that is a upon b into e upon s into g upon h into i upon j. Now here, the g h g is the draft chain wheel where h can be also changed the combination is there so that the maximum draft in this ring frame can be 25 so friends if we know the wheels a and b count the wheels on that so first what we will do in practical if this problem comes to you then what you have to do you have to make the diagram in your notebook then normally the two or three students are there for a particular problem so what you do you count the number of teeth by putting the cotton piece in one teeth and then put those things on the wheel on the your machine and when you count the teeth and then the A, B, C, D value is known to you so you can easily calculate this and another method of finding the count is what you do wheat hank is known to you that is the rowing hank and then if the gearing is not given to me or if the machine is running so again I am having another uh, method of finding the draft what I will do I will check the hank of the rowing in the SQC by checking the wrapping 15 yard length then weight the hank of the rowing is known to you then what is the final count the, from the ring frame moment you can calculate the ring frame count so hank delivered upon hank fed so i can calculate the draft also so friends this is all for today i hope that the topic must be known to you and uh, in this case if you are ha having any question so please write to me Thanks for watching the TV.